So this is a tiger head, as you can see. Um, we're going to create points inside this tiger head. So let's do that. Um, what you usually do probably is to triple that and to go for paste. But uh, in this case, it doesn't work very well. It creates a lot of points here, not very many here. So what we'll do instead, we'll go to multiply and go for Julian 2. And we'll just pump that up on the X and set. And that's pretty much it. And we'll press K to kill that. Kill the polygon. So uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, I think I want to jitter this, so let's try that. Point, well, let's say 0, 2, I guess. And nothing here. Uh, so let's try Gaussian of that value. And it, well, looks pretty good. Thing though, well, it might be, usually it's not an issue, but if you want to make sure that these points don't go outside that border or that edge what you can do is uh, paste it back in let's go to perspective for this one and um, we'll just thicken that by 100 and um, move this a bit up and that's pretty much it. We'll switch the layers now. Uh, the thing though is that let's try it first. Let's go to construct solid drill core. Okay, it's not going to delete anything, any of these points, right? So what we'll do instead, we'll go to create points to polys, and that's more like it. Now go back to construct solid drill core, and we'll indeed select or uh, delete those um, polygons so but now they're polygons so we need to fix that well we just press k and we're back to having points instead of two point polygons so that's it that's how you make it not go beyond that border Okay, um, other options, well, of course you can use the points tool to draw points, but it's fairly slow. So instead you can use uh, the sketch tool and select face and just make a um, crosshatch pattern or something like that. And kill that and jitter it. So now we've just got jittered points really in that area. Um, you can also uh, create points based on a weight map. Of course then we'll first have to create uh, a weight map so but before that again we'll have to create an image map. So First, the image map, then the weight map, then the points. So, what we'll do here is we'll go to map. Now, actually, first, we're going to do that over again. We're going to say um, Julianne again. Create some divisions here, but we're not going to press K to kill. The polygons so just be aware of that so now I got the polygons and um, actually we'll have to create a mm, texture or a UV map so I'll do that texture Y create so I'm pretty lucky here I can just use the default settings so that's it um, So now I can do what I wanted to. I can go to map, texture point, and the Y, weight map. I'll create a weight map, new one. I'll just call it new. And go 
for uh, texture. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to choose weight shape so we can see what's going on. So texture, let's just check procedural to see what's going on. Say 0.2 or something like that. Pop up the contrast. So you can see that you can create, uh, well, weight maps based on procedural textures. But that's not what we want in this case. We want to use an image map. Let's say UV, select the UV map that I will make, and select the texture. And there we go. Uh, this thing now made a uh, weight map out of the texture map. So we're done with that. Um, actually, in this case, I'm just going to just really fast select the border here and you'll see why later on so I'll just loop that create a selection set and uh, I'll call this one subtract what we'll do now is we'll choose um, select uh, and it's called select by vertex map value when you click on it, it's called Select by Map Influence, so you better fix that. Use the same name. Anyway, got the um, weight map here. And uh, we could use Absolute, but that's just going to select the points that are exactly 100%. And I got some fuzzy edges here, so I don't want that. I want to use the range instead. So I'll use the range from 50% to 100%. So it's going to select bit more really so click OK and now you can see that it's left some of the points on the edges here so I don't really want that so that's why I made a loop and I have the point statistics and I got subtract so I'll click on minus so that pretty much deselected the points that I didn't want. I got some points here that I need to deselect, but did a pretty good job. And that's pretty much it. So now I can copy these points. Make sure to be in point mode when you do this, okay? So copy the points, go to new layer, paste, be sure to be in wireframe uh, view or shade to be able to view them. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. So now we got these points here. And well, of course, you can choose to. Well, there are different ways to go about this. You can either just use it like that, or I can take this, use this loop. It's too much loop. Copy, paste that into another layer. So now I've got something like this. Uh, copy that. And jitter. So there's a lot of stuff you can do, really. Um, you can now use, well, these points to make clones of objects. Um, use particle clone or something like that. There's a lot of things you can do, really. So, but anyway, those are a couple of ways to go about creating points on well, on a specific area on an object.